Welcome to Illuminati Silver. We tell you the truth about silver. Today is Tuesday the 22nd of Feb 2022 and it's 1216 in the afternoon here in the United Kingdom. Now we have stated that this week we're not going to produce a morning video each and every day. However, a few things have occurred which we feel we should bring to your attention. The first is that Schultz holds pipeline as Putin backs separatists. The second is that we can see that gold drops below $1,900 as Western sanctions on Russia loom. And thirdly, Bitcoin is losing out to gold, has analysts eyeing $30,000 level. So let's take a look at these. First of all, Russia's lower house of parliament, the State Duma, unanimously ratified the Kremlin's treaties, recognizing two self-proclaimed republics in eastern Ukraine. President Vladimir Putin has already ordered his forces into the region. It follows weeks of warnings from the United States and its partners that Putin could be planning to invade Ukraine, something he has repeatedly denied. European Union ambassadors met to discuss a plan for sanctions on Russia, as German Chancellor Olaf Scholz said he would halt certification of the Nord Stream 2 pipeline. The question now is what the US and its allies would define as an invasion and what would trigger bigger sanctions. Some European nations have been weary of the economic fallout they could face from any penalties, especially, and this is the key, given their dependence on Russia for natural gas. Not looking good. Gold. Gold drops below 1900 as Western sanctions on Russia loom. Gold fell below $1,900 an ounce as demand for the haven asset stalled ahead of the US and Europe imposing fresh sanctions on Russia. Earlier, the metal surged to an eight-month high after Russian President Vladimir Putin announced he would recognize two self-proclaimed separatist republics in eastern Ukraine. The move generated condemnation from the United States, European Union and nearly all representatives of the United Nations Security Council who spoke on Monday night, that's last night. Now this is the key. Traders are awaiting the announcement of a new set of sanctions on Russia to see how strongly the West is willing to react. It's unclear what the US and its allies would define as an invasion of Ukraine, something Putin denies he plans to do, and would trigger, and what would trigger, tougher penalties, and if they would cut Russia off from global financial markets. Gold has gained this month as investors seek havens against growing geopolitical tensions in Europe. Both exchange-traded funds and hedge funds trading the COMEX have added to bets on bullion in recent weeks, helping support the rally. That's despite expectations that the US Federal Reserve will hike rates at its meeting next month, a move that would pressure the non-interest-bearing asset. And this is something we've covered briefly in our Gold 2022 forecast which we published yesterday and repeated again today and we've put links in the description box below if you haven't seen them. Gold's rally has paused ahead of a heavy layer of resistance in the 1917 to 23 area which is something we commented on in our weekly update published on Saturday. Do take a look at that. That was again repeated on Sunday. Again links below. With momentum not strong enough to take it through at this stage, said Ole Hansen, head of commodity strategy at Saxo Bank. We probably have a fair amount of risk premium priced in, which normally doesn't tend to stick around for a prolonged period of time. Now, those relying on cryptocurrencies may also find themselves in hot water. Bitcoin traded near a more than two-week low as fears of a possible Russian invasion of Ukraine prompted some analysts to predict the largest cryptocurrency could slide towards the key $30,000 level. Bitcoin was little changed after touching a low of $36,372 on Tuesday after Russian President Vladimir Putin said he's recognizing two self-proclaimed separatist republics in eastern Ukraine and ordering troops there. Other cryptocurrencies also fluctuated amid the political uncertainty with Ether, meaning I think Ethereum, off as much as 3% before edging higher and XRP down as much as 67 Now, all of this has a bearing. We have often said, in fact, time and time again we have said, 
And this is something technical anal analysts tend not to take into account. Geopolitics plays a part, at least short term, in the price of most commodities as well as other assets such as equities and bonds. Whatever happens globally, then the market makers, the traders, the brokers all react. And to some degree, to some degree, there can be a reasonable expectation of where those actions will take the price of the underlying current asset. So just a very quick look. Dollar index down marginally, just dipped below 96, though it's been higher than that today. Energy prices, well, the inevitable rise in the price of oil. We now have Brent crude at $98 and WTI at $94.5. $100, here we come by the looks of things. Looking at equity markets, of course, America was closed yesterday. So we markets are unchanged there. Asia Pacific overnight between 1.5% and 2.5% down. European and UK equities mixed between them. The FTSE marginally up, but the DAX and CAC marginally lower. Economic data out today. The Flash Manufacturing and Services PMI and Consumer Confidence Index. But the key ones for us really are essentially going to be what's announced on Friday. Gold prices. Let's just see very quickly up to date. Gold is up a dollar today at 1896, but as already mentioned, below that 1900 level. And you can see that dip from a few hours ago coming crashing down. Silver prices actually doing proportionately better, up 29 cents, holding above $24, although it has been as high as 24.32. And the up-to-date cryptocurrency market over the last 24 hours is down roughly 1.5%, with Bitcoin technically unchanged at 37.634, and Ethereum just marginally down at 2.609. That's it. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hopefully you've prepared in case there is an incursion. We filled our tanks with fuel. In fact, on Sunday, we made sure that we wouldn't be hit too hard with any further price increases, at least not until we have to fill the cars again. Have a great day, everyone. Please give us a thumbs up, subscribe, press the bell sign, and don't forget, look out for our gold price forecast for 2022, and then tomorrow and Thursday, our silver forecast. We'll see you soon. Illuminati silver owners come from a background of banking, international wealth management, and economics. Having now retired from these worlds, we are not qualified to give investment advice. Therefore, this and other productions must not be deemed to be giving such advice and merely represent the personal views of its owners.